I recently survived COVID uh, after testing positive. Was advised um, to go to the isolation center, so I was picked up and taken to the isolation center, Yaba, where I was treated. And I was a patient. Um, I had nurses uh, who were caring for me at the time um, of my isolation. I really do not have full details as to how I contracted this virus because I was in the UK and I was attending high level events and I also traveled using the tube to get to one location um, from one location to the other. So, and I also had contact with people. So it's very difficult for me to pinpoint where exactly I contracted the virus from, but I knew um, the day that I, I was feeling sick that I might have you know, contracted the virus. Um, my symptoms basically um, were fever, um, cough, um, a bit of sneezing. Um, I had, I was dizzy. I had diarrhea. I was vomiting. So I had a couple of you know, things going on at the same time with me. I was prescribed um, different drugs from the from um, medical healthcare workers who were there. Um, drugs to handle the COVID itself, and drugs to also handle the side effects um, of, of the medication in itself. Um, so there were different tablets. It's difficult to know what particular tablets I was given because they were given like a tablet bag, um, but I took different tablets. And sometimes I take eight tablets in the morning, 10 in the afternoon, uh, maybe 12 or 15 in the evening. It, it really varied depending on my condition at the time. I started the drugs, I just ensured that I, you know, still maintained a very high hygiene, washing my hands, sanitizing if I touched anything. And even when I didn't touch anything, I was still sanitized. Um, I was, you know, drinking a lot of water, taking a lot, a lot of ORS to keep me hydrated. Um, I prayed as well. Prayer really helped me as well. The side effects of the drug were um, nausea, um, dizziness, of course, diarrhea, vomiting. Yeah, I was at the isolation center for two weeks. We were tested every two days um, just to check our viral loads to know if the viral loads were reducing um, or if it was increasing or still at the same level. Um, but they did the test twice. So the first time I tested negative and then they did another test and I tested negative and I was distracted. My family wasn't, you know, really um, happy. Um, but, you know, importantly, they were wishing me well and you know there to support me through the experience just to ensure that I was fine because that was the most important thing for them. Um, so it wasn't like a very good news for anyone to hear but they supported me. It was important for them to also get tested. Um, though I self-isolated when I returned I was very conscious to self-isolate and limit my physical contact with anyone um, but it was advisable for them to get tested to ensure that they are not in one way or the other contract the virus and i'm very happy to say that they're fine one thing i would like to say you know is just to encourage everyone fighting covid right now to keep fighting they can survive it and also to let nigerians know that i experienced the virus and i know it's in nigeria and a lot of people as well um, were admitted at the isolation center with me so you are doing yourself more harm than good if you're going outside Please stay indoors. It's important for you. It's important for your health and for your family because we don't want the majority of Nigerians having this virus. It's going to be, you know, a very serious issue. It's a global pandemic already, and countries that have advanced healthcare systems are still struggling to go through. So please stay at home. Sorry, you're not one of the statistics of those who contracted or those who die as a result.